Hello and welcome my turd blossoms. Today we've got the last of them. This is the final new mission in Honor to Fire Heroes. It's kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. Honestly, I have to say just uh, uh, first of all that I'm I'm doing a post commentary on this level because I found it too difficult to do a live commentary on this video. I could probably do it now, but when I was figuring it out and you know my first few playthroughs, it was just crazy difficult. On top of that, though, I did have a, a slight glitch error in my game where I couldn't even uh, beat the level at some point, which was also pretty upsetting. So I've played through this level about five times now. This is like my fifth time, so I should be pretty skilled, and I should be able to explain everything uh, hopefully pretty well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Let me get some water. <coughs> Excuse me, hopefully pretty well today. Um, basically what we got going on right now is we've got uh, three different sections where our guys are located. And we're going to have to switch in between these guys and use them to help each other out. And that's the biggest issue with this. It's very difficult because you're only really allowed a couple different uh, you know, unit types that can attack uh, in, in other areas. <coughs> Guardians uh, are, are the perfect example. They don't really do all that much... Um, you know, to help out other other areas, but you pretty much need to use them almost entirely in their own top area. So I know I'm saying area a lot, but that's really one of you know those three different areas, three different uh, sections, I suppose. Also, you notice I, I did snipers in the the bottom here uh, to help out my uh, middle area. I'm just gonna call it top, middle, and bottom if that's okay, because it stays pretty consistent throughout the the level until eventually everybody meets up together and you have to defend a super crazy onslaught of of enemies. Um, overall, like I said, this is probably the most well-designed level that I've played because it really takes a lot of skill, effort, um, control. Uh, it's a good difficulty level. It's actually pretty, probably the most difficult mission that I've played overall. Uh, and of course, I am playing Impossible, by the way, just in case you were curious. Uh, so, I, I really enjoyed this one. Um, you know, thank you to whoever ended up actually designing this level, besides the, the random glitch that stopped me from winning, because that was really annoying. But thank you to whoever designed this level, because I think it was honestly really, really good. I hope they do more levels like this in the future. Uh, maybe even more difficult, where you get like, uh, you know, six units total. Like, two in each level, or, or something like that. Because um, this is the kind of way that Iron Marine should be played. If you're going to play a single-player game, it should be difficult. It should be requiring you to um, do different things, use different units and everything. And this really does make you use everything you've got. Um, you can tell, like, on the bottom there, I have my Shell Storm and my Marines going. I'm already attacking this guy up on the top here. My Guardians are just about dead, so I have to decide if I want to use my Drop Turret or just hope that he ends up uh, killing these guys. But what I'm going to end up doing is it looks like, oh, it's so close, but the Knuckle Bro will be defeated, and our Guardian needs to just sit there for a second while he uh, recoups his, his health. But what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to send my Shell Storm, actually, all the way down to the bottom down here, because I'm going to have a Ranger Shell Storm combo that's pretty much required. And this is also probably the first time ever that I'm going to actually use Engineers in a good way. And again, perfectly designed. Because at first I thought this thing can't possibly be killed. I was wrong. I figured it out. Uh, I ended up killing one of those building guys that are usually, you know, require you to send like three or four sets of guardians in with just a shell storm and a set of engineers, which was straight up ridiculous if you ask me, because I never thought about using that combo together, but it worked out wonderfully. Also, you can tell I'm switching between my different units right now. Uh, you know, I've got uh, <clears throat> my psychic guys up right now. Uh, but uh, as soon as I take this over, I'm actually going to switch into Guardians, because I, I think the Guardians do a much better job against these Sentinels, because they're ranged, so I do extra damage to them. So, um, now we got to go over and take this down here. So anyways, uh, if you didn't know uh, by now, basically there's three sets of three terminals that you need to take over. Um, they usually do it in sort of an order, where uh, it's usually the uh, Empyreans first, then the Marines, uh, then the uh, Shellstorm, but it, it ranges a little bit. It ranges just a little bit in the middle there, so it's just follow up whatever they tell you to do. Uh, so anyways, Shellstorm plus Rangers, obviously one of the best combos in the freaking game right now. Um, again, I, can't, I really can't use the flamethrower or anything. It's not like I, you know, he has range, so I just, I'm forced to use the Shellstorm. And then the Rangers, they're just the overall best unit in the game, honestly. They're, they're just perfect in every way. So here we go, we got the building coming out. What do we do against this bad boy? So this is where I, I waited a few seconds because I thought there was going to be some extra robots coming out, but they didn't actually end up coming out. But we got Knuckle Bro coming in here, so I'm a little bit afraid. So we got our Shellstorm, uh, you know, working up his uh, magic, taking down, taking down all these Sentinels, which are really difficult for, for uh, 
uh, the Rangers to take down. And now we've got our uh, our guys basically siphoning off his health. So because he's a building, uh, over time we do more damage to him. I know it, he's not actually a building, but because he acts like a building or takes damage like a building, we do more damage and we do end up taking this guy down. So it seemed really, really easy right there. But if you just kept attacking this guy with rangers or something, you'd be overwhelmed like crazy and you'd lose that thing for sure. So I recommend, instead of just running away from those guys, to actually kill all the units, okay? I've tried running away and just, just doing my thing, but it does not work out on the high difficulties. They catch up with you and it will eventually start taking you down. So now what I'm doing... Obviously, is I've got my snipers on the bottom down there. They can't really reach everybody, but they're reaching some of the guys. And then I've got my mecha over here as well, starting to take over this, um, you know, uh, computer. So uh, as soon as we take that thing over, we're going to send our guardians in. I'm actually going to move this guy down towards the bottom so my snipers can do a little bit of extra damage, actually. I might even flamethrower him. I can't decide yet. Um, obviously, as a uh, brawler, they've got the most health. Uh, and they do a pretty decent amount of damage as well. So this Knuckle Bro will be taken down by my Guardians, and the next um, computer takeover is is uh, uh, up by the Guardians up there. But again, take your time with it. Take down all the units. Um, sometimes what happens, the worst thing is, is when you uh, kind of try and take over all the computers all at once, if you like speed run it, uh, the guys eventually just catch up with you and, and will take you down. So, you know, you can tell this video is only about 11 minutes long. I bet you a lot of people probably took even longer than me, but I think I kind of perfected the strategy almost for Impossible. I took my time with it, but I, I, I kind of just perfected it, and I think it worked out well. All right, so our brawler didn't end up defeating these guys. Now everybody's going to start meeting up in the middle here. So you can tell the Guardians are taking a, little, taking a little bit of damage here so we can have everybody meet up together and hopefully do a little bit better job together instead of uh, being separate the entire time. Um, the turrets are probably the most important thing to use. Don't waste those guys. Make sure you use them at the right time. Use them on any sort of robot healers. Those are the main guys you got to take down quickly. So we got a Knuckle Bro coming in here. Looks like my Guardian is going to struggle a little bit. I wanted to take down one of these extra robots, but I, I can't do it, man. So the nice thing is if you have all of the upgrades, all the gears unlocked already, if your brawler or mecha ends up dying, uh, he'll pop out as a parachute guy and you can run away and uh, defend a little bit. He's pretty fast, too. He's obviously a lot faster than a mecha unit, so you usually can run away and defend for a little bit. So you're like, oh crap, Chris, you're just about to freaking die. Yes, just about, but I got my Empyrean back up. They're going to end up defending. I dropped my drop turret at the exact right time, and we do end up killing all these guys. Perfection. All right, so now it's about time to work on our rangers. Um, now, I, again, I'm being a little bit, a little bit fancy with my footwork here, guys. You don't need to be as crazy as I do. Feel free to heal up, just wait it out. Um, it's not like an infinite spawn type of deal um, until the very end of the game. I think at the very end you do have an infinite spawn, but for now it's not infinite. It's just uh, a certain amount of guys every few moments come out. Uh, every single time you take over a computer or whatever, so uh, take those guys down and then work on the next one. So anyways, again, we got to switch to our ranged units. Finally, everybody's going to meet up, but I don't want to take over the computer yet. At, at first, I thought, take over the computer, Chris. Take over the computer. It's going to be amazing. Everybody's going to be grouped together. But then it starts the next area already. So this is probably the most important part of the game. Use your uh, Marines and just run them around a little bit. Also, there was a glitch where if you end up getting that uh, computer on the top taken back over by robots, um... Hopefully, Iron Marines will fix this pretty soon, but don't let them take it over and uh, get this Ranger's computer taken over next. I know that's confusing. Um, don't let the top one get taken over. And if you do, take it back over, okay? Otherwise, uh, you can cause a glitch where you can't cause the next section to start happening. So anyways, uh, I know there's just no verbiage for, or, or nowage for what I'm trying to say here, you know? Um... So anyways, we do end up taking all these guys down. I'm trying to let everybody heal up a little bit before we actually start the final battle. The final battle is taking over the computer right where my uh, shell storm is, just a little bit to the t up, upper left corner right there. And uh, <clears throat> it's difficult because you have those gigantic... I don't remember the names of them. The gigantic flying robot shocker storm guys coming out. And those guys are horrific. So, uh, if you let them get anywhere near you, you're basically dead. So you have to use, uh, your drop turret at the exact right time to take this thing down. So for the first drop turret, drop it in, um, in, in on the action here, and, uh, let it help you take this thing over. I'm pretty sure it increases the speed to have four units on top of it instead of three. So, uh, uh, do that, and then as you can tell, I have all of my ranged units out. I'm defending for now. I'm doing a, a ranged defend. 
So, uh, Shailstorm's sh shelling the crap out of these guys. Snipers are really doing the main damage for me right now. <coughs> and then the uh, Psychic guys, obviously, they're pretty helpful as well, but I want to keep them in range of the computer. We're already a quarter of the way done. So, uh, let everybody just chill for a little bit. Now, for my next turret, you might be thinking, well, now I'm going to drop it right back in so I can make this thing happen even faster, right? That sounds like a good idea, but it's not. Because at halfway done, these Shocker Storm guys already start coming out. So, bam, you're going to start seeing them right here. Um... So, there it is, coming up the middle. So, uh, you know, I've got to rely a little bit on, on a lot of my units. So I drop my drop turret in here to scare him away, but I actually end up pushing him forward a little bit, but he's dropping all the, sh the shockers on my turret, which is perfect. And then we push him in, and we end up insta-killing him with our psychics. I don't think you can get any luckier than that, guys. That was literally perfect. Um, if they did end up pushing us, uh, you know, a little bit further and... Uh, we def defend in just a little bit different way, that would have been okay. We would have had to push our Marines out a little bit, let them take, take some of the Shocker damage until the very end. But anyways, that's going to be pretty much the end. Obviously, we worked uh, our magic here. Guardians worked out well. Sniper, good combination of units um, overall, and uh, we ended up coming out on top. So, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this uh, video, make sure you press that like button for me. Of course, I'd appreciate that a bunch. Hopefully, the post-commentary was a little bit better than the... Uh, the live commentary for this one because I know this was a difficult map for people to beat so I wanted to make sure I made a good video for you guys. I might end up uploading my one hour of uh, trying this game out and uh, losing so we'll, we'll see about that. I might do that for next week. Thanks guys and have a super duper delicious day.